musical coincidences, or are they? These days I've been playing key of D songs, so most of the songs I play have the D chord in it. And another way I really like to play ukulele is using a capo on the second fret. And when you do that, when you put the capo on the second fret, your ukulele sounds better. And when you put the capo on the second fret, that gives you something that's called detuning. Now detuning tunes your ukulele A, D, B sharp, and F. No, F sharp and B, I believe it is. Now I haven't studied that tuning in great length. I have just used it. <laughs> and I think it is beautiful. In fact, I have tuned some of my ukuleles that way. Without, so you can play it without having a capo or using a capo. So this is called detuning. And when you play D chord and key of D songs, You're also using D. So there is a coincidence there. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but that is a way to make beautiful music. I think. Now the second coincidence is this. this these are my two favorite ukuleles right now. This one And this one, this is Caramel Tenor, tune low G, C, E, A. And this is the Kala Baritone, tuned low G, C, E, A. Now I've got all kinds of tunings, all sizes of ukuleles, but these are my two favorite ones to play right now. So they sound best to me. The other coincidence is this ukulele has low G, C, E, A strings that were made by PhD. And this one, too. So there, here are some coincidences that are occurring in my music and making it sound better, I think. Thanks for watching. Sail away, sail away, o'er the sea, out the bay, oh, pretty flower of the island, broke my heart and sail away, sail away, sail away, o'er the sea. Oh.